This is Matt Wicker with Chatley Boat Marine, and today we're going to take a look at the Ultra 211. The Ultra 211 is produced by Sea Hunt Boat Company, and Sea Hunt Boat Company is the number one selling saltwater boat in the 17 to 29 foot segment. One thing that's unique about the Sea Hunt Ultra 211 is the, is the variable degree dead rise. Uh, this boat's got a really sharp entry, it's a 50 degree entry, so the boat's going to ride really well in rough water. And that coupled with the Carolina Flare is going to throw the water way away from the boat. So if you're in rough water, it's going to ride good. It's going to be dry, uh, making it nice for everybody inside. This dead rise actually flattens out as you get to the stern of the boat. And you got a 16 degree dead rise at the, at the stern. This is important too because it allows you to float in pretty shallow water. The draft of this boat is only 13 inches, which is real comparable to a lot of bay boats. So for a guy who wants to do some offshore fishing, you got that 50 degree entry. And then if you want to do some inshore stuff too, you can still get back in a little creeks and nooks and crannies that 13 inch draft or if you're with your family you can pull up on a beach and not have to worry too much about the tide going out just a little bit uh, when we get inside the boat the ultra series designed for the family as well it's got tons of country comfort features um, let's look at the bow in the bow of the boat the first thing you notice is the backrest uh, i'm six foot tall and i can easily stretch out in the bow of the boat still got a couple of inches to spare it's also a wider uh, area up front than a lot of the competitors boats so you don't feel like you're gonna fall off if you're sitting up there um, you got bow bolsters are standard bow cushions are standard bow backrests are all standard you got cup holders up here where you can put your drink um, cruising around got a nice anchor locker and then all this stuff pulls out so if you're fishing you can pull all these cushions out uh, and underneath you know you've got a nice casting platform or you can use them as fish boxes under this one you've got a 110 quart insulated cooler that drains overboard so you know you need fish guts in there anything it goes outside not down to the bills just think that up and then on the other side you got a 72 quart cooler also insulated and also drains overboard and extra cup holders too under this seat you've got a nice insulated cooler uh, you can store your drinks snacks whatever you're gonna need while you're out there for the day uh, really nice upholstery you get uh, some thick vinyl it's gonna hold up really well as you move to the back of the boat they're standard with cockpit bolsters um, then we'll look at the dash for just a second. This is the new dash for 2017. It's acrylic, so it looks really nice. It gives you plenty of room to mount up the two 12 inch screens. Um, comes standard with an infinity Bluetooth stereo with a USB port, MP3 port, and it's Bluetooth as well. This is kind of unique for 2017 as well. Um, you've got a nice phone holder, so you've got a place to put your phone. It's not gonna be sliding all over the boat. You can see it pretty easy. You can adjust the songs, the volume, uh, whatever you need to do is right there. Um, it's also standard with command link digital gauges, which is a huge upgrade over the analog gauges on a lot of boats, and even an upgrade from the regular digital gauge. The command link gauge gives you all your fuel management information, gives you tachometer, speedometer, voltmeter, hour gauge. You got tons of options to cycle through. You can kind of set them up to however you like, but that's a nice feature. Standard on sea hunts, a lot of other companies charge between $500 and $1,000, even more to, to upgrade to those. Um, the uh, the gauge layout, you know, all the switches are, are, are nicely located. Everything's set up really nicely. You've got a uh, high pressure wash down. You've got automatic bilge, manual bilge, uh, navigation lights, um, tons of accessory switches, cockpit lights, LED on either side of the cockpit here. Uh, this seat here, this is our seat that we put in here. Uh, there's tons of options on the seat, but this is the leaning post with the backrest, rocket launchers, and bolsters. Um, you got four rocket launchers on the, on the backrest. These bolsters flip down to give you a little bit nicer seating area, and that footrest folds down too. Uh, so if you're just going to do a long boat ride, sit and hang out, it makes it feel more comfortable. A lot of the uh, leaning posts have a real short seat that you know, makes it kind of a struggle to sit on. And then when you're going on a fishing trip, you can flip these up. gives you higher back support and also gives you more room between the uh, leaning post and the console. That's a nice feature. As we move to the back of the boat, all these cushions are standard. Um, it's got a walk-through entry. So if you've got an older adult who doesn't like step over cushions or you're worried about somebody tripping as they get into the boat, that opens up, making it way easier to get in and out. The ladder is a four-step ladder. Pretty much every other boat that we sell uses a two or three-step ladder. So if you've got an older adult or somebody who's not, you know, Got a ton of upper body strength that makes it easier getting out of the boat. A lot of the companies are using two or three step ladders. All these cushions remove back here and under the cushions is more storage. So under this first storage box here, 
we've got a five gallon storage bucket uh, which is awesome any fisherman is go always gonna have a bucket on board you can use it for cast net storage use it for ropes whatever but it's a true five gallon bucket the second thing you'll notice is the um, static hinges uh, you don't have a spring there nothing holding it up it's not gonna slam on your fingers if you're on rough water and you lose your grip or a little kid opening it up it's, that's a nice feature um, so they're all finished lids too so it looks nice you shut down the second one here is your live well it's a 15 gallon area to live well it's also insulated so if you're not fishing you can uh, you can use it as a cooler sea hunt and all their boats uh, offer a high speed pickup stand as one of the standard features so that's that's a nice feature too but 15 uh, gallon live well there and then under this last one here uh, dual battery setup there's not batteries in here yet but there's a switch um, you always want a second battery in case you're out there hanging out and listening to the radio and one of the battery goes dead all you do is slip a switch and go back in tons of rod storage you got two uh, in, in gunnel rod storage on each side of the boat you got trolling rod holder yeah, trolling rod holder three more trolling rod holders back there you got four on the seat and then depending on the t-top anywhere from four to six this is a, a canvas top here with the LED spreader lights life jacket storage net but Sea Hunt also offers a fiberglass top, so uh, you can get either one of those. They're both really nice options, just to kind of depending on what your preferences are. Um, this is a, a quick walk through the 211 Ultra. This is Matt Wick with Chatley Marine. Really appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, give us a call, 919-775-7259. We'd love to help you. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a good day.